Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage where I got a stack of batteries and a BMW. Quite the combination. My local parts store contacted me and they said they had a customer that needed a battery put in a BMW. They could sell on the battery no problem, but their screen reads directly, do not attempt to install battery in this vehicle. The battery information must be reset in the power management system. Authorized BMW dealership or shop may replace only. So they called me. Now I'm not a BMW dealership or a BMW repair facility, but I'm the guy that has the right tools because you have to reset the battery management system in the BMW when you replace a battery. What's battery management system or BMS? Well, according to Wikipedia, it's an electronic system that manages the rechargeable battery by protecting the battery from operating outside of a safe operating area, monitoring its state, calculating secondary data, reporting that data, controlling its environment, authenticating and balancing it. The computer in this BMW is constantly monitoring the battery in the charging cycles. It will charge it different as the battery decays through time. But the computer has to know what the cold cranking amps are of the battery, the style of battery, and sometimes even the serial number of the battery to be able to manage that system. We're going to go through that process today using some Autel tools. When you have this many different battery options to change into a BMW, this particular car had six different options for cold cranking amps, for reserve capacity, even changing from a lead acid to an AGM battery. And that's what we're going to do on this car today. We're going to change it from its old lead acid battery over to an AGM. Now there's a lot of benefits going over to an AGM battery. It just handles the electronics and the extras a lot better. This customer has extra stereo equipment, extra electronics, TVs, everything built into this car. So we're going to go ahead and step up to that AGM, not only to get more reserve capacity, but also the battery life will last a lot longer. So we're going to go through the process on how to do that. And the tool of choice to be able to do that is stepping up to an MS908 Pro. And the reason I had to step up to the Pro is this is actually considered programming. So we have to use the Pro with its J-Box which I already have plugged into the car to be able to do this process. So I'm going to pull you in a little bit closer. That way you can see step by step how it's done. So I've already ID'd the vehicle. This is a 335 E90 chassis. We're going to select yes. We know we're communicating with the car because of the green check mark down here in the VCI. That means that the VCI is communicating with the car, which is communicating with the tablet. Now we're into the modules. We're going to select programming. It's going to identify again. We're going to click yes. It's going to ask us if controllers were replaced. I didn't replace any controllers. I just replaced the battery. So we're going to select no. Now we're going to go to retrofits and conversions. And here are all the options for the battery conversions that we're going to do. We need to make sure that we put a GM battery into it. So you'll notice that there are a lot of options when it comes to retrofit and conversion, but not all of them are battery. So we want to focus on the page for batteries, which is the first one. Here you can see retrofit a 90 amp hour AGM battery. That's exactly what I have. So we're going to select that. Now we can see in the measure plans, it says added vehicle to elements, AGM 90 amp hour battery. And it says we removed a 90 amp hour regular lead acid battery. Thanks for watching. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, like the page, make sure you click the little bell. So anytime I release a video, you see it. We'll catch you next time.